I'm going to solve most of these by hand and on Desmos. I really want you to get the variety, and I also want you to see that when you solve something on Desmos and you get something that looks like that, I'm like, whoa, what was that? You'll know what to do with it and how to interpret it based on the answers that you already know how to write, okay? So we had to do some stuff by hand in order to really truly be able to interpret what we're looking at when we do it on Desmos. So first of all, let's pull out the other notes. Is this less than or greater than? Is less than? This is what we're gonna do. We're just gonna follow this process right here. So um, less than creates an inequality that is between two values. So here goes. Notice that this was absolute value of x is less than or equal to one. We put x between one and negative one. I don't see any negatives on this side, so we're not like, oh, it's less than a negative, or it's greater than a negative, or it's none of that, so we're not playing with those. What we do have, however, is 2x minus one. Here's your sandwich. That's the meat and cheese in your sandwich. And here's one slice of bread, and here's the other, and it's less than or equal to on both sides. And we're gonna solve it. We don't have to make a table of values. You could if you want to, but I'm not going to. We're gonna add one here, add one here, add one here. That gives me negative four, less than or equal to two X, less than or equal to six. We're gonna divide everything by positive two, which means we don't have to turn our inequality symbols around. And there we go. And it is really that straightforward. So final answer on a number line would be from negative two to positive three. And I would circle this, circle this, and I will fill in those circles because they're equal. And that's it. That is my final answer. Okay, so this is where people get kind of weird and they're like, hey, I'm just gonna check out because he's gonna show us a shortcut. Yes, but again, I have to be able to interpret it. Now, when I look at Desmos and I type this in, I'm gonna get that and I need to be able to work backwards to it. They get weird on me and they're like, I don't do it anymore. It's stupid, it's not. Okay, so here goes. I'm gonna type the original problem exactly the way it looks. Whoa, no, I'm not. Camera down, camera down. <laughs> there we go. I'm gonna type it exactly the way it looks in Desmos. And when I do, we'll have absolute value of 2x minus 5 and then and we get this graph right here we know what an absolute value graph looks like and it is less than or equal to what was it 5 whoa I'm typing the wrong thing less than or equal to 5 but that was a 1 okay and there we go this that you're looking at right here is exactly what you saw on the number line on paper so here goes from negative 2 to positive 3 and it does include, notice that these, these right here, and I'm gonna zoom in, these vertical lines are not dotted. In a minute, when we have one that is not equal, like that, it'll be a dotted line, just saying. And you'll know that when you do your circles, it'll be an open circle. So notice where, the, where I am on the x-axis, it's at negative two, and I can slide around or zoom or whatever. And when I do, let's see, uh, three, three, right there. It's pointing in the wrong place, but three. So from negative two to three, negative two to three. That's it right there. Got it, fantastic. Let's do the next one by hand and then we'll check it, okay? Check it on Desmos. This one's greater because it's greater. We're going to play this game over here and this game over here is where I have to make two inequalities and put an or in between them. So here goes. First inequality, or technically the second one, x minus four greater than three, and then the other one, or x minus four is less than negative three, and we're gonna solve both of those. So x less than positive one, positive one, whoop, whoop, math alert, math alert. X is greater than seven, so there's that, and we will graph that. When I graph that, I'm gonna get exactly what I would get if I graphed it on Desmos, but I need to be able to interpret it. So here it goes, we're gonna do that. There we go. All right, so let's type that one in, x minus four greater than three. X minus four is an absolute value. X minus four is greater than three. Oh, oh, look at it, see it? This starts at one and goes to the left. This starts at seven and goes to the right, and that is exactly what we had on our graph. 
Notice the dotted lines here correspond to the open circles there. It was less than one. There you, there you are. Less than one. Greater than seven. Greater than seven. Okay? So if you want to jump straight in and start desmosing these, you may. I am going to desmos this one, this one, this one, and maybe that one, but we'll get there in a second. So desmos, here goes. Um, number line and an inequality. First of all, it's greater. If I wanted to do it by hand, I'd have to do it this way. By the way, because it's great. This is the way I learned it when I was student teaching. Because it's greater, you need an or. And then if it's less than, technically, the mathematical word for this piece would be and. And and or have different operations or different, uh, different purposes in math language. X plus 5 greater than or equal to 2. So here we go. 2x plus 5. There we go. It is indeed greater, so it's going to go in opposite directions. Uh, negative 7 and negative 3. There we go. Got it. Negative 7, negative 3. I'm going to draw a little number line here. Negative 7, negative 3. And I will put my circles on there. Fill them in. There we go. There we go. So it saved me some solving, but I still have to be able to take this picture, which I got from Desmos, and interpret it as a solution where I have x less than negative 7 or x greater than negative 3. Okay, next one. You know this one already. It's a sneaky one. Look at it for a second. Pause the video if you need to. I'm going to type it into Desmos, and then you're going to see what's going on with this one. See if you can guess the solution, if there is one. X minus 5, negative 3. Okay. Minus 5. Negative 3. Oh, 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 okay. Well, goodness, that's red. All right, so let's uh, zoom out. Oh, well, this is weird. No matter how far I zoom out, I get red. I wonder. <laughs> I wonder. Huh. No matter how far I zoom out, it's going to be red. And I'm, I'm zoomed out to about like negative 10,000 to 10,000. And those numbers aren't that big. So clearly, this is going to be any number ever. And it makes sense. Absolute value is greater than a negative? Of course it is. So this is going to be all real numbers. Those are my x values. And... Let's waste a little bit of red ink right here. Okay, you know the answer to the next one. Take a second and glance at it while I start drawing. I'm going to go ahead and type it. You won't be able to see what I'm typing, but that's okay. I think you already know the answer. Okay, it's typed. It's ready to go. Ready to go. There's the answer. Oh, maybe I can't see it. Let's zoom out. Zoom out, zoom out, zoom out, zoom out. No, no, no. Zoom all day, never find it. Absolute value is less than a negative? I don't think so, my friends. I don't think so. So this is no solution. And so I'll take my red pen and graph nothing at all. <laughs> Denied. Okay, last one. Let's do this one by hand. I think it's worth doing. And uh, we can check it on Desmos if we want. Um, and, and here's the fun part. If you go ahead and do this one on Desmos, you'd be like, yeah, I got it. I'm done. You know, take that, sucker. There's something really cool about this one where we really need some skills. We need some skills reviewed. First of all, one of the things that was said on the first side, front side, and I pointed this out, was solving by hand, you must first isolate the absolute value on one side of the inequality. And so we have to start by dividing by negative four. So I'm gonna divide by, well, negative four. And I cancel those. And that gives me the absolute value of x plus one, and then three, but. When you divide an inequality by a negative, you have to turn that symbol around because you've changed the order of which one's bigger. There we go. Now, what looked like a greater than problem is a less than problem, which means I am in this camp right here. And that means I make a sandwich. <laughs> make a sandwich? What do you mean? Make a sandwich. Three and negative three. 
and then x plus one goes in the middle. We'll put some less than. They're always less than when you make a sandwich. I'm gonna subtract one from everything. It gives me negative four, x, and two. And now I know my solutions. Didn't even have to desmos it. But if you do desmos it, it could be a little tricky because when you look at your solution and it looks like a less than problem, but it actually started as a greater than problem, then it's easy to be deceived, okay? Also, if you're looking ahead and you're like, he's already done that. I recorded this video before I recorded these. So if you're like, I gotta copy this fast. No, 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 there's another video. We'll get there, we'll get there, okay? <laughs> Probably shows you way too much too early. Um, again, if you graphed this on Desmos exactly the way it was before you ever even really began the problem, then you'll get what you got at the end. So negative four, uh, absolute value, and then x plus one and it is greater than negative 12. So let's go here. There we go. We have a less than solution to a greater than problem because we had to divide by negative four. Okay, there we go. Now, the next video, I'll walk you through this. So if you're like, I'm just gonna pause and copy. Don't, don't be that guy, really. You'll, you'll need to understand what this really represents.